Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life of the Mundane and today I'm excited to come talk to you about homeschooling on the go. Just a few ideas on how to make your current homeschool curriculum more mobile and more mobile friendly, but also talking about fun, unique learning opportunities that you would have in the car specifically, as well as places like doctor's offices and uh, waiting rooms, therapy appointments, that kind of thing. So we're gonna jump into kind of how to put together a homeschool on the go kit and how you can implement a few of these ideas as far as car schooling goes. So let's get started. So there are a lot of different areas of this kind of homeschooling on the go, car schooling um, topic. But today we're really going to focus on the mom who's kind of required to be more mobile. Maybe it is just for a season or a time that you need to be able to take your school with you places, but maybe you're like myself and other moms whose lives revolve a lot around therapy appointments, doctor's appointments, um, maybe it's sports or other events, activities, um, extracurriculars, whatever it might be, there are different things that can cause us to have to be on the go often. And the nice thing about homeschooling is there's a lot of flexibility with it. And being able to travel with your school is one of the great perks. But it can be sometimes a little challenging to come up with new ideas on how to do this. So kind of wanted to talk to you first about how you can use time in the car and um, during these intermittent times outside of the home for review. So you would be surprised at how much you can get accomplished in just a 10 or 15 minute car trip to and from different places. And we try to utilize this time pretty well. Um, and we don't always do this perfectly, but I wanna share a few of those ideas with you. So we always try to utilize the time in the car for either new learning or for review. You've got your kids strapped in, buckled in, they can't go anywhere. It's a great time to have conversation and talk. So let's talk about some of the things that you could go over. Going over math facts is a great thing to do in the car. So we'll buddy up and we'll see, okay, can you you know, get so-and-so to rattle these off? Okay, now you do that. Um, so we use flashcards a lot in the car. You can use things like skip counting cards, we have sight word cards, science facts, whatever it might be. There are so many flashcards out there and do drilling of flashcards in the car. It's a great activity to do and to have them quiz each other or you quiz them. Um, another great thing to do in the car for review is to use audio curriculum. So like we use Story of the World, we read out of it um, for our history and we have activities that we do at home, but I also got it on audio CD. So I've got it on CD, I've got their science textbook on CD as well. And so we like to have this in the car with us so that on those times that maybe we can't read, I can do the next chapter. But a lot of times what I like to do instead of instead of listening to new material in the car is I like going over chapters that we've already listened to because a lot of times they hear it again for the second or third time. They hear someone other than mom hear it, uh, other than mom read it, and they'll pick up something new. So we love being able to go over some of those textbooks again in the car. We can discuss it and review that. Another thing along the lines of audio is we love to review our catechism songs um, or Bible memory verses. Bible songs, hymns, those kinds of things. We like to do that kind of thing in the car as well. So there's a lot of audio pieces to reviewing in the car that you can do. There are so many educational songs and learning activities that are great to review in the car. And I will drop links to a few of my favorites um, that we have gotten either on CD or that we use through the Amazon Prime Music app. Um, and they have got some great things in there for learning sound, letter sounds and reviewing, again, those math facts, those geography facts, uh, historical facts, whatever it might be, there's a lot to be learned there. And I don't want to, under, I don't think you should underestimate that how much time you can actually be using to review and practice stuff um, to also discuss. Have discussions about what you're currently reading in your homeschooling. Listen to things on Audible or audiobooks that you get from the library. Um, listen to those in the car and then have a group discussion about it. This is a great time to work on oral narration if you are familiar with that concept and having the kids listen to um, a, a section of reading and then to tell back in their own words what they heard. 
Okay, so that's kind of how I suggest utilizing that car time for review. But what about once you actually get to wherever you're going? How do you incorporate your, take your school that you're already currently doing in your home and bring it with you? So there's a couple of different things. I like to put together a little homeschool on the go kit basically and it's basically a 31 bag it says school to go um and i will drop links about that below but basically it's a 31 bag that i have stuffed full of curriculum now some of this stuff stays in this to go bag all the time so i have some worksheets on things that i have some of the usborne uh dry erase books for my younger kids like the ready for writing and but also for the older ones like grammar punctuation they have addition they have multiplication that kind of thing so i have those kind of things in there that just stay in there all the time and those are great things that we can just take to work on some of the things that maybe they're struggling with a little bit but i also obviously like to take along their actual schoolwork the stuff that we do every single day so what i like about this bag is it's already stuffed with pencils erasers i have a box of crayons in there headphones in there so headphones in there so if you need to grab your ipad to bring along to do your reading eggs or for us you know teaching textbooks whatever it might be it allows them to be able to do that quietly and to themselves um, but having that stuff already packed with all of the kind of accessories and supplies needed, having extra paper in there so if they have a writing assignment that they need to write, having that stuff already in that bag makes it so much easier because then all I have to do is go in and throw in a few things. So for, um, for our math, some of them do it on the computer, but the other ones are using Math Lessons for Living Education. So I just throw the whole, I either throw the whole book inside of that bag or that can get kind of heavy with several kids. So the other thing that I have found to make school a little bit more mobile friendly is to use clipboards, which I know is nothing new, but these clipboards, I found at Walmart several years ago, but I'm sure they still sell them. And the nice thing about them is they open up and they have a compartment inside. So I will stuff them full of pencils and other worksheets that they need. They can snap it and they have it ready to go as a work surface for them either in the car or when we actually get to wherever we're going. So I think that this is really helpful tool to get and it's I also don't ever underestimate the um the importance of having read alouds, either that you're reading aloud to your kids or they're reading aloud to you, depending on where you're going. And having those, bringing those along is also a great thing that they can do on the go. I think the big thing to keep in mind with all of this is that um, is saving space because you don't wanna end up having to lug around a 50 pound bag. So that's where maybe tearing out a few pages of math and bringing it versus bringing the whole book might be a good idea. Um, and I think remembering that you want to try and, and plan for those incidentals. So having extra pencils or maybe even just bringing along a small pencil sharpener, having that in your bag at all times, those kinds of things are the things that we tend to forget that make schooling on the go a lot harder. And so having those things already packed in that bag just means you just have to throw in whatever else is left for that day and makes it a lot easier to go. So I know that's not a lot, but I hope those few little tips are helpful to you. I would love to hear if you do schooling on the go, where are you going? Where do you tend to take your school with you? And do you have other great tips? Because I'm always looking for more um, with having a daughter with special needs and being at therapy point therapy appointments regularly. We have done lots of car schooling and school on the go. So um, I, I have a lot of experience in the area, but I'm always looking for new ideas. So drop comments below about that. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I'm making the most of the little moments in homeschooling, home management, parenting, and everything in between. I hope you guys have a great week and a great time with school on the go. Talk to you later. Bye.